Hey everyone, welcome to Mickey Shishu's channel. Happy Lunar New Year, guys. It's a great year. 2021 is also the year of the ox. Ox is an amazing, amazing zodiac. If, if you were born in the year 1961, 73, 85, 97, 2009, 221, you are the year of the ox. And ox are known for their determination and strength. Mickey was born in the year of the rat. So, for today's Chinese New Year's Lunar New Year special, we're gonna be making something very special today. Dumplings. Mickey, look, we have one dumpling here. We got another dumpling here. And we got another dumpling here. We got three dumplings. You see that? Whoa, okay, Mickey. So, today, Mickey loves to play with dumplings. Does she like to eat dumplings? That's what we're actually doing today for our Lunar New Year. We're gonna be making dumplings for Mickey. Dumplings for Mickey. Oh. So guys, Lunar New Year is here and we're gonna be making dumplings for Mickey. Yes, soup dumplings for Mickey. A dog version, of course. Of course, uh, in our family, dumplings. Uh, one tons in soup dumplings or also known as shalom bao. It's a very it's a very traditional dish that we actually make in our family too. Uh, the process is a little bit different from making for dogs, and um, it's my first time making uh, dumplings for dogs. Hopefully it works out. I've done a lot of research as far as how to make dumplings for dogs. Hopefully it'll work out, and hopefully Mickey will like it too. Let's get started. First thing we need is. Chicken breasts. Uh, you can find go for ground chicken breasts, the ones that already chopped up already. I couldn't find organic chicken breasts, but I mean, this is gonna be a once in a while thing. Then original chicken breasts will do. Uh, grounded. That's what you need. Also found uh, Taiwanese cabbage. Taiwanese cabbage is a great looking cabbage. You can use regular cabbage if you want to. Not a problem. Carrots. One carrot, and you're gonna need an egg. So I'm gonna have all four of these combined together to make the filling for the dumplings. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is clean the carrots real quick. Just gonna cut this in half. That's all you need. Mickey. Mickey. Mickey, you want a carrot? You want a carrot? There you go, Mickey. Mickey, huh? Try a carrot. Give her most of the carrot. She's gonna bring it to her favorite spot. Her little favorite spot to eat. So, anyways. So, I'm going to grate the carrot by using this this little thing here. It's a grater. Uh, bought this at the Bed Bath and Beyond. I just grate it finely. Pretty much done grating the carrots. So, so now it's now finally shredded. That's what you need. Okay. I will then get the Taiwan cabbage. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this up, chop it in half first. But one more time. Remove that whole part, the root. You don't want the root. Just up real quick. I'm gonna be shredding the cabbage now as well with a different grater, a bigger grater. So there, you see it? Finally grated, chopped up uh, cabbage. I mean, you could use a, a knife and just manually chop it up. Um, grater is just quicker and faster. Some of the pieces are not fully chopped, but that's okay too. As long as we get the pieces smaller, because once you cook it, it's gonna soften up anyways too. So let's get the, the last pieces out here. Okay, I'm gonna be adding the ch chopped chicken breast into the mix as well too. Probably gonna put like half first and see, and then mix it up really quick.
Okay, we'll be adding a egg as well too. Put the egg inside. I'm going to mix the egg with the entire batter. The egg is going to bind everything together. Now, of course, a traditional dumpling. Uh, you can add as well too uh, salt, pepper, uh, garlic as well too, and onions or extra flavor. So that's kind of the human version of a dumpling. Knowing that Mickey is not going to eat all of this, I'm going to put away a good amount for Mickey for her alone because I'm making two versions. So this one is the human version, one is the dog version, right? So that's Mickey's half. This is the human half, right? For the human version, I'm gonna add some black pepper, uh, salt as well too. Some a little bit of soy sauce with the batter. Not too much. Just a little bit of soy sauce. I'm also gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. Not too much. Just a little bit of oyster sauce. Of course, the traditional uh, Chinese dumpling. We use pork pork filling, uh, beef filling, or lamb. Chicken as well too. Chicken breast is not very common, but for, since we're doing a episode for Mickey, chicken breast is the health, healthiest and the safest. We'll be using this wrapper. This wrapper is the same wrapper that was used by Ryan and Gatsby at the Long Island College. Uh, they actually made dumplings too for Gatsby, the corgi. And I was finding it really wonderful how Gatsby loved his dumplings. So this video, this 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 uh, food venture right now with Mickey is definitely actually very inspired by them. So I want to thank Brian and Gatsby for this influential uh, video for today for Mickey's dumplings. Ah, dumplings. Looks like baby crab lagoons. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the dumpling that we just I just got. Uh, cut in half. We're gonna do half moon dumplings, smaller size, bite size for Mickey because Mickey's a smaller breed than unusually from uh, the video. Like Gatsby, Gatsby's a corgi. It's a bigger dog. Mickey's a smaller dog, so we're gonna make it smaller size for her. Easy to eat. Put the filling inside, of course. Not too much, not too little, and then we use water to seal it. So we'll put water all around. Make sure you have your baking sheet. Add some flour to it just to make sure nothing sticks. And then we're gonna do a fold on each side. Do a few folds in each. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be nice. But if you could do it the proper way, there are a few folds that you have to do to make a proper uh, dumpling. Just like that right there. Give it a, uh, a sense of shape and texture and gives it a nice look, just like that. Okay, so we're actually making different types of wraps. This is the original traditional way, dumpling wrap. You have the, the gold wraps. This is, these are the Mickey wraps, the mini wraps. And we're saving some of these uh, turkey meatballs for next time. Save these, uh, cook some meatballs, boil some hot water for next time for her as a little treat, a little snack, a little lunch snack. What are you waiting for, Mickey? You're waiting for the dumplings, huh? So, let's put it inside. Not to uh, break it or anything. I know. Don't worry, dumplings is coming. I gotta get dumplings for you. I'm gonna let this cool down for a bit until it gets to room temperature. This is really too hot for her right now. Okay, the human version. What we do first is uh, cook it as well too. We're gonna drain the dumplings out from the hot water. A couple about four minutes. We're gonna drain it out one by one. 
once you're done draining it, so once you're done with this, transfer it to a pan with oil and pan fry it for about 8 to 10 minutes. So once you're done with one side, I'll flip over to the other side, I'll cook it for now 4 minutes, 5 minutes until it turns like a nice golden brown color. Then it's next ready to serve. So this is the human version of the dumplings, pan fried dumplings. Very delicious. Let's give it a try. Mm. I add more salt to it. And um, of course, I was missing a few ingredients. You're supposed to add some ginger as well, some shredded ginger, onions. Um, I will probably add a little more soy sauce to it for flavor. But um, once you add those ingredients inside, that these dumplings will taste, definitely taste a lot better. But so far, so good though. It's good though. Hey, Mickey. You want to give these dumplings a try? Little dumplings. Let's give it a try, okay, Mickey? So, with dumplings, especially if you are introducing a new item to your pup, give her one or two pieces first. See how they react to it. If they react to it, it's good. You can give them another piece. So just to see how she reacts to it. Mickey ate a few, so far so good. Mickey did a good job eating those dumplings. I want to see how she reacts to it, considering that it's a new food item. Let's just see how she, she is. But um, yeah, we'll see how Mickey reacts to it. And if she's good, we'll give her more. So I'm gonna save this for later for Mickey and give her as an art treat uh, later on for dinner. And um, so far, she's new. It's a new texture for her. So, it's dumpling wrapper is a new texture for her. She's learning to eat it. But uh, yeah, so far, Mickey likes it, right, Mickey? Mickey, we're gonna go to the groomer right now, okay? We're gonna go see Tina. We're gonna freshen you up a little bit, give you a good shower, nail trim, get your paws cut, okay? Get your little mustache, a uh, little trip a little bit. So we're trying to grow her her top knot to a full top knot. So the fur around her eyes is not gonna get cut, but it's gonna grow over time and it's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna have a nice top knot on top. So it'll just be temporary, but we're gonna fix her up though. Come on. Who's that, Mickey? Is your friend? So we just dropped off Mickey at the groomer. We're gonna stop by the pet store really quick. Grab some of her wet food there because we're pretty much out of food for her. So we'll grab some food for her and see what's available at the Hill Science area. So we're going to uh, Pest Mark really quick. How you doing? Look at all these toys. This is probably Mickey's. Uh, Wonderland right here. Lots of dog food, lots of great food for shih shoes and other breeds. It really depends on what you like. <clears throat> I like Natural Balance. This is actually pretty good too. Uh, I heard nothing but uh, good reviews about it too. Wellness. Wellness is also a very good brand. Oh, I gave Mickey this once. Chicken and carrot entree. Let me tell you, Mickey loves this kind of food right here. I don't know why, but uh, this is a great, a great product. I, I, I don't know too much of authority. That's why I can't say I would 
totally recommend it. I haven't really studied too much, but I bought this can because only because um, it was an emergency and a lot of my products that we wanted were out. So I actually resorted to a 40. And to be honest with you, Mickey loves this. I might have to give Mickey a try one more time. Of course, you cannot go wrong with Purina One. One of the best uh, dog food brands out there, so really good stuff. This is a miracle product. If your dog is suffering from diarrhea, very advanced diarrhea, this is a chewable tablet, but I, of course I have the powder, the chewable tablet. I haven't tried it, but I would recommend you get one of these in the powder form, which is a lot better, just put in the food, or the chewable tablet, just have it ready for you. In case your dog has diarrhea, like really bad diarrhea, this is your lifesaver right here. For us and Mickey right now, we're eating all Hill Science. And uh, this is what we use right now. Chicken and barley is what we use right now. Mickey is gonna be one very soon. So this one is a savory stew with beef zucchini, adult from age one to six. I'll probably give it a try and see how Mickey likes it. Savory stew with chicken and vegetables. Adult from age one to six. Give it a try too. Of course, for a certain time, Mickey was eating Royal Canine Shisu. Good. I've been using this, and of course, mixing with her appetite stimulant. Both of these together, it's a meal. Works great. Mickey's happy. So I can't really complain about uh, Royal Canine much. You can actually use this to this as well too with Royal Canine Puppy. Mickey was not a big fan of this. She was more about that one right here. So, Woo. got all Mickey's uh, gro groceries, and uh, yeah, let's head back home and uh, wait for Mickey to uh, after her grooming. Mickey had a long day at the groomer, long day. So you know, guys know that it's been a while since uh, Mickey had her last groom. You know, she has she was spayed, and you know, trying to heal up and get better. You know, of course, like when you're spayed, you usually have to avoid uh, getting wet and going to shower. So today was her first day going back. Unfortunately. You know, Mickey was a little bit matted in the armpit area, the neck area. So it took a lot longer than expected. But Mickey's back home now. She's just really tired today. Sorry, Mickey. I know you had a long day. But uh, uh, I want to thank uh, Tina for helping us. And uh, she did a great job grooming Mickey. She just needs to rest right now. Tomorrow? It's a new day, and she'll be back to normal again. Hi, right, Mickey. Oh. So tomorrow we're gonna be going to my parents' house to celebrate the new New Year's as well too. Uh, it's gonna be a nice dinner, and I'm gonna celebrate New Year's with my family, and uh, see what my mom has in store for us. Here, Mickey. That's you right there in the photo. So pretty. This is the famous uh, Chinese roast, roast pork. Nice crispy skin. And uh, we have some we have some abalone, roast duck, we have some prawns, uh, tofu. Post chicken. We also have some oysters and uh, sotake mushrooms, vegetables. It's a very nice cultural Chinese dish. Very delicious. Hey, you like your outfit? It's a nice Chinese outfit, right? Look at that, Mickey. See? It has a little, it's a very traditional Chinese outfit. Nice little roses. It has the, uh, the ribbon. Very traditional, huh? 
<laughs> you like that, huh? You here to see grandma? You here to see grandma, huh? <laughs> What's that, dad? That's a new toy? New toy for me. Oh, look at you. New toy, Mickey. Look what grandpa got for you. Oh. Mickey. Hey. You got a new toy, Mickey. It's a Mr. Doggy Man. Hey. Oh, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Want play touch? Go. Go, Mickey. Go. What do you want, Mickey? What's want another new one, huh? Hey, Mickey. Good job, Mickey. Go, Mickey, go! Oh, I got a new toy, huh? There you go. Yeah, Mickey! Uh, the dumpling or the dog? Oh, oh you, want the, you want the dog, huh? My mom is uh, cutting the roast pork. Wow, you can hear that skin. Crispy skin. That's a very crispy skin. Are you hungry? You want some food? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Uh, Alaskan codfish, green beans and peas. Mickey's dinner. Alaskan codfish is perfectly fine. You can eat the, uh, that with, or salmon, or tilapia, works really well too. This is our first time eating codfish, so it's a new item for me. Okay, time for uh, Lunar New Year's uh, dinner. We have some roast pork and then of course the, the nice uh, presentation. It's Lunar New Year's uh, dinner. Roast pork skin. Mmm, very crispy. Wow. Can I get out the food, Mickey? Get the food? Mickey! Look at you, Mickey. Huh? Look at the food. Holding you. Is Grandpa holding you? Yeah. Grandpa's holding you. Huh, Mickey? Huh? Grandpa's holding you? She's holding you. Okay, Mickey. Happy New Year's. This is your envelope. Lucky money, money. Okay, can you grab it? Can you grab it? There you go. Mickey, say goodnight, Mickey.